cloud. There we go. <clears throat> All right. We're going to start off nice and simple. Okay. You have to stand up, and we're going to be working on the three different parts of the foot. We're going to be on the heel, the arch, and the ball. All right. So what we're going to do, just to start off with, you're going to put the ball underneath your heel. Okay. And you're just going to do a little half circle across your heel. Okay. Just get as much pressure on there as you can handle. We're just going to work there. You see, don't we go the other way around like this? You see the foot is doing this. You're yeah. pivoting on the toe and going across. So you start the back of the heel and just keep going across those little crunchy bits and then just slowly work your way down the heel. If you find a bit where it's really bad, just stay on it. So collect and have your toes on the floor so you're pivoting and then you can get as much weight onto it as possible. Ah, okay. Ah. Yeah. Awesome. Down to the bottom of that heel, so just before the arch. And then you should be able to get a little bit more pressure onto it. And just slow down that movement. That's it. So we move on to the arch. So for the arch, what we're going to do is we're going to get the whole foot off the floor. So you just have that ball on the arch and we're just going to push side to side just to start off with, just to loosen things up before we get into some unpleasant things. So you can move along. The arch is going to be from sort of the base of the hill here to just before the ball. So we're just going to be going lightly across the arch, doosh, 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 doosh. just to start off with, and then we're going to put some pressure on that, and we're going to do some awfulness. Okay, you should find that coming down from the big toe to the heel, that sort of area is the worst, or everywhere for clay, it seems, judging by the little. It is really crunchy and sore. Okay, all right, so a little bit of rubber cross, so come back so that the ball is just in front of the heel. And we're gonna put some pressure on, and you're just gonna lift your toes. Spread them and relax. Lift the toes and just relax. So you should feel you're shortening ooh, that plantar fascia. Okay, so try and get some pressure onto that, and just curl toes and straighten them. That's it, just like that, just like the flip-flop man. And what delightful toes they were. Perfectly formed. So then just move that ball across a little bit so it's in the middle of the foot. Uh, the more he does that, the more powerful my erection gets. Oh, wait, we're recording this, aren't we? Oh, he leaves on that note. Rude. All right, then move the ball to the outside of the foot. And again, just hold that pressure on. Just curl and straighten those toes. Okay, cool, just relax. So we're gonna bring the ball down now. So the ball is gonna be going across here. So just before we hit the ball of the foot, we're gonna be going here, here, and here. Across there, we're doing that same thing. So curling and straightening those toes. All right, trying to get as much pressure on the ball as you can handle. <clears throat> All right, so just pop it on. The bit, the side by the big toe should be the worst bit. So get as much pressure on there as you can. You should feel as you put pressure on, the toes will start to curl naturally. And then you're just trying to straighten them. <laughs> my fingers are working with my toes. <laughs> I was thinking that. I was like, why is my... Ah. Oh, Alana's back in the conversation. Yeah, I can talk to you again now. Oh. <clears throat> also, it's 26 degrees. Why is he wearing jeans? Well, he says he's got no um, nice shorts to go out in so he can only wear jeans. And then he asked if flip-flops were acceptable, which is why the flip-flops came out. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. 
I mean, brave in Glasgow, but acceptable. Yes. All right. Move that ball. To the ball the right. Foot. What foot should play? Can I make it on? Right in the middle of the foot. The oil thing where it goes off your foot. Bit more weight on there. This is a standard thing. Open this toes up. You go and walk to the other one there. It's a kind of curve to you, comes your foot. The Scottish thing you do in the end. That's it. So as much pressure as you can handle. Relax, and we're just going to go to the outside by the pinky, and then this should be much better. All right, cool, off the ball. And we're just going to go across the ball of the foot here. So we're going to put on just in behind the big toe, and it's going to be like we were on the heel. We're just going to do a little semicircle, okay? Pivot on that heel. So you can bring your other foot in front so you can get more weight on it, okay? You might get some grinding and popping in there, but it shouldn't be anywhere near as bad as the rest of the foot. as much of your weight as you can, and then side to side across it. So loads of weight on there. Up on the toes of the other foot, and just try and get as much weight onto that ball as you can. It feels so much better than doing the arch, doesn't it? All right, now then move it down the heel a little bit. So we're just in front of the arch. Okay, now if you find a bit where it's really bad, stay on it and just give it a little wiggle. Whenever I do this, I always think I should do this more often. <laughs> Ow. All right, <clears throat> so let's move on to the arch. And we're just going to go gently side to side just to loosen off that arch a little bit. Okay, now settle in on that arch just in front of the heel. Get some weight into it, and then toes up and down. Oh Claire, I noticed you cut your face off so we can't see your pain face. <laughs> it's like this, my alpaca face. <clears throat> Just teeth. Yeah. All right, into the middle. More weight on there if you can. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is where the other hand starts to go with it. <laughs> Every now and again, my pinky start. <laughs> yeah, my whole left hand just goes, yeah. Okay, 
Now move to the outside. Uh, Alana, I really thought you had frozen there. You were still <laughs> so long. It was just... I was staring at my plant. <laughs> willing it to grow. Yeah, pretty much. Willing it not to die. Oh. <clears throat> well, if you need any more plants, I'm looking for plant homes over in like four or five weeks' time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. How are you with bonsais? I did have one when I was younger, but I definitely didn't look after it properly. Oh, don't know about that. That's a lot of responsibility. I mean, all you have to do is war for it. <laughs> all right, let's move the ball to just behind the toe, still on the arch, and get that weight onto the ball. Oh, that was bad. And again, opening and closing those toes. Oh, Colette, you're going to be so happy about the next move. What? What's the next one? It's got a happy puppy in it. <laughs> All right, move the ball to the middle. This is the one where Robin's dad mocked me for being gay. <laughs> Saying that mobility sounded homoerotic. <laughs> She's never done mobility outside since then. She hasn't, actually. <laughs> Unless she knew they were both away. <clears throat> oh, fuck. And let's move to that pinky side. And then just bring it up onto the ball of the foot and we're just going to pivot and just, just grind it across. Try and get as much weight on that as you can bear. Once you put your feet on it and you get some weight onto it, you should feel your toes curl around the ball. If your toes aren't curling around, get some more weight on it. Ooh. Ugh. Okay. Oh, that feels good. All right, <clears throat> so that is toes done. We're going to do the calves now. So this is where you're going to need your grid roller. Um, and if you're on a hard wooden floor, you might need a mat or something to kind of make your knee. Uh, this next one is a little bit uncomfortable. Okay. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is a calf bone saw. Okay, so uh, we've done this before. What's going to happen is I'm going to sit here. I'm going to put my foot over there. So I've raised that off the floor, and then I'm putting my shin across onto the calf. And I'm going to sit down, getting pressure onto it, and then we're going to do a little happy puppy, little wiggle. Okay, and try and make that wiggle as big as you can so that you're pulling that shin further in, so you're pulling the outside of your calf with it, okay, to get as much of the meat into that little bone saw as you can. That's it. So bring the shin further up, Colette, so it's right up in yeah, the I fold. Don't, I, don't, I can do that on one of my legs, though. Why? Because I, I still can't kneel on my leg. I smashed them on the ground. Okay. So you can put, have you got um, a pillow? Or a couple of pillows, so you can put them under your knee. So it's, if you double it over, then you can put it over so that it's resting so your knee is off the floor. Okay, and you should still be able to get that same pressure. Actually, if anything, you might even be able to get a bit more pressure on there. So if you rest on there, so your knee isn't touching the floor, and bring that shin all the way up 
and then get as much weight onto it as you can. Oh. Is, that, is that all right? Ah, oh, that's much better, but it's really sore. <laughs> yeah. Different bit sore now, so just wiggle that butt side to side. Show me that happy puppy. Wiggle, 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 yeah. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. wiggle. <laughs> oh, I remember that song. Wow. That's going back a long time, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, the LMFEO? Was yeah. Yeah. Did they ever do anything else? Um, not really. I think the, the lead guy did go on it somewhere else, but okay. not really. Let's move that shin halfway down the leg now. Oh, that's well. <laughs> <laughs> right, just hold for a second. Just get used to that pressure on the leg. And then slow movements to start off with. And then we're going to try and increase that movement once you're used to that pressure on your calf. And then we're going to bring the shin down right into the small part. Oh, the small part of the calf, right into that slayers. Okay. Take a second. This one can hurt quite a lot. So really small movements to start off with and then just build up. Change legs. Oh, I feel so good when you're not doing anything. All right, so get that shin all the way up to the top and sit back and start off and then slowly make that wiggle bigger to get the outside of that calf involved. So just wiggle, collect, just wiggle. That's it. And just make that wiggle bigger and bigger. If you can take more pressure, you can sit back more and put more weight onto that. And then halfway down the calf. Oh. Give it a second, just let, let it ease in and then slowly start wiggling when you can. Get to try and increase that range of movement so you're getting the outside of the calf involved as well. Okay, and then um, that smaller part of the calf, right down the, oh, right down the bottom. 
give it a second, get used to it being there, and then just slowly start wiggling. Oh, there we go. Stop that nonsense. <clears throat> All right, so I've been saving up the worst one. All right, we're going to be working down the outside of the tibia. Okay, we're going to have a ball in there. We're going to be getting pressure onto it. We're going to be kneeling, so you need a little pad for your knee again, Colette. All right, um, we haven't done this one in a long time. Um, just because the sounds of crying gets a little bit disturbing after a while. Okay, um, I'll show you what we're going to do. So, <clears throat> find where your tibia is, shin bone, here, move to the outside, and you'll feel when you come underneath the patella, a little dip, and then you can follow that bone all the way down. So we're going to be popping the ball in there, up by the knee to start off with, and then Oh, we're going to sit back. Yeah. Oh. And then it's going to be little circles. And then the more you can take, the more you can sit back. Oh, I will not be doing this. But the more pressure you get on there, the more effective it will be. All right, we're going to be doing a very short stint. So we're probably going to do five spaces down the shin, about 20 to 30 seconds each time. All right. So Claire, on that first one, you don't even need to have your knee on the floor. You can just rest your weight on the ball like this. This is my knees not on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just the other pain you have to worry about. All right, ready? So off we go. Knees on the floor, did you say? Your knee doesn't have to be on the floor for the first one. Okay. And then just little circles of that foot in both directions. <sighs> that is just awful. Okay, then let's move down a little bit. Sit back, and again, little circles. What if your foot can't move? Uh, just try and wiggle the toes. <laughs> yeah, it's literally any movement at all, just get that tibialis anterior moving big muscle in the front of the shin. So if all you can do is just wiggle your big toe, that's fine. Because I feel like that's all I can do right now. Okay. Ooh. And down. So we should be about, oh wow, that shouldn't be that puffy, should it? Um, let's move about halfway down the shin now. Okay. So on this one, your knee will have to be on the floor, which means you're going to get more pressure onto it. That was some good noises for everyone. Wow. No tears yet. That's because there's no guys in the class. All right, 
and move down again. Okay. Oh, shit. Wait, this is the last one. So you should be about two thirds to three quarters of the way down the shin. And just any movement you can get through that toe. No crying to that. Get your head up. Oh. Don't go Rachel on me. This is what I just said. Uh... I, I'm supposed to be laughing at James and Ian. No, I know. Doing that. I know. You can laugh at them for other reasons, though. Oh, oh and relax. Change legs. Funniest person to see doing any mobility is Ian Kerr. <laughs> Oh my goodness, just because he's not done any in 60 years. <laughs> Do a quad smash on him, a super friend quad smash and literally tears in his eyes. <laughs> All right, so find that outside of the shin, fold that patella down, get that little dip, pop the ball in there. And remember, you don't have to have to knee on the ground for the first one or two. And then get some pressure on. Oh. Oh, this side doesn't feel too bad. <sighs> oh, it takes your breath away, doesn't it? All right, and we're down slightly. Last one. Claire, how did you hurt your knee? Did you fall off your one wheel? Yeah. So, how before the staff barbecue? Oh, uh, and relax. Oh, you stopped falling off it now. Um, I got a little bit cocky today, and uh, I went. I I managed to jump off of it and hold on to the railing, but I just cut a little bit of the back of my my leg. But I was <laughs> twenty two miles per hour today, so. <laughs> And I, I was like, try to see my speed, but I'm not at that level yet to look at my phone and do that. <laughs> but, yeah. but I had like, cause I smashed my bum into the railing as well. So I had like lines on my bum <laughs> before I smashed it. But the, the one before the barbecue, I, had, I didn't have my knee pads on. So I came off at 12 miles per hour and just slammed my knee right into the ground. I thought I fractured it. There was somebody out there more clumsy and accident prone than me. I've just got a big dent in it now. That's fine. All right, <clears throat> so we're going to do the other side now. This isn't uh, I thought we were done. I thought we were done. Did you? Oh, no, I was just giving you a break. So, five plus five. <clears throat> six. Oh, it's fine. I wouldn't want you to be at risk of shin splints. So we're going to come to the inside of the shin now. All right, and we're going to pop the thumbs in. All right, wrap the thumbs around and we're gonna, oh, 
press in. the ball. No, no ball. This is just your thumbs. So thumbs here. Okay. So find the shin bone. Yeah. Bring them towards you so you're on the other side of it. So you feel where the calf goes into the shin. Like a front. Yeah. Thumbs in there. Wrap your hands around your leg. <clears throat> and then press in. Should be quite painful. Okay. And then little circles. And then change directions. You should feel it ease off quite quickly. Cool. And then we're going to come down. Oh, oh shit. That doesn't bode well. All right. Just come down about four or five centimeters. And same thing again. Thumbs in. Little circles. Oh, that is awful. That's a very nasty little bit I found there. But again, it should ease off really, really quickly. And move down again, another four or five centimeters. I'm covered in pain sweat. <laughs> I've already had three showers a day. I refuse to make it four. My calf's got all dimply behind my thumb. That can't be good. What? Sorry? My calf's got like all weirdly dimply right behind where I've got my thumbs. It must be like cramping um, or something. <laughs> all right, move down one more. Oh, that's interesting. And again, thumbs in and little circles. I'll collect. You should have seen Vanessa's face last night when people turned out to work out with them. She was so right. excited. Vanessa last night when we did a workout up there. Changed direction. And then she went straight back to work afterwards. Ah, oh. no. 12 hours at work and then back to work after a workout. Is she, is she stuck here just now? Well, she's working on uh, coronavirus. Yeah. So yeah, she and Meredith and Arthur have been working on that. All right, we're gonna change legs. Like 12 hours a day, six days a week or something. Crazy hours. I didn't realize she was going back to work. I know, it was mental. When she told me that, I was like, what do you mean? She's like, yeah, I'm going back into the lab. And I was like, it's crazy. Mm. Six months and they haven't found a cure yet. Lazy. <laughs> All right. Find that bit again. Oh, oh this side's much better. Oh, this one's much worse. <laughs> I have a sock tan line. Have you? Yeah. I've got a flip flop tan line. <laughs> the classiest of all tan lines. All right, and let's move down. Four, five. Oh, fuck. Oh. That bit. What time are you in the park tomorrow night? Seven. Oh, I need to put another post up. I think it's fine. Change direction. It's going to be a million degrees, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like this. Do you know which part you're going at yet? Yeah, it's Kelvin Grove tomorrow. And then move down. <laughs> like, which part, though? On what part? What? Yes, which oh, part? Oh, sorry, I didn't understand. Yeah, I'm sorry, part. which part of the park are you going to? <laughs> no, where are we going, Robin? Fountain. I said to meet at the fountain, would you say? So I think that you should go to the same bit we use for Team Wad because that's pretty quiet. Where is that? that? Well, the back of the art museum. Okay. Because it's, like, yeah, it's going to be so busy. Yeah, I was thinking that because it is a Thursday. It's pretty quiet because it's shades. Okay. But I think that'll yeah, probably yeah. be your best bet. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. There's park in there as well, actually. It's probably... And it just means that people know that as well. Cool. Yeah. Uh, cool. Rob, can you put the post up then if you know where it is? Yeah, yeah. I can also send you the picture again as well that I use. I took a picture of that back bit. Oh, yeah, cool. no, I know exactly where you're talking, just the back of the art galleries. Thanks, direction. It's quieter than in the actual park. And if it's oh, like okay. this tomorrow, you're going to have loads of people there. Yeah. Want to. What are you doing? I'll grab that dumbbell. Yeah, I did kind of start to think that because it's a Thursday as well, it might be busy. Direction. Weekend and all that. Okay, I'll put a post up then. Cool. We can just always hope for rain. I like <laughs> thirty. 
All right. And that is us done. Now we're done. Oh, I don't want to stand up like. Oh, ow. That was fun.